My earliest memory is riding in my grandfather's boat, arm over the side, hand in the spray. I've spent much of the rest of my life chasing this feeling. All of that has led to this. The Wooden Boat Experience. Garwood Speedsters have a history in Chippewa Bay. Today, one man continues that tradition. Double Trump. A Glass Goat production. So Joe, tell me this story quick about these two. Which one did you get first? This is Joe McBride. Some might say he has a wooden boat problem, but we know better. The first one I bought was Rosemary. It was a uh, 1994 Garwood Speedster. It was built by the uh, Water Fleet New York. By the reformed uh, Garwood Company it was opened by the Turcots. The uh, boat had never been named. Uh, so I was able to buy it, and I named it after, in memory of my grandmother, he used to have a cottage up here. And, uh, in Chippewa? Actually, it was in Blind Bay. Then I okay. Up. And then uh, a few years later, I was surfing the internet at lunchtime. And it's then a I dangerous across, thing to do. It is. <laughs> <laughs> then I came across this one. It was in Henderson Harbor. 1993 was the sister boat to that boat. Both had the same engine, same specs. Also, it had never been named, and I thought it would be a good tribute to my grandfather. So I bought this one and named it Thomas after my grandfather. Very nice. I was trying here to get an underwater shot, looking up at the bottom of the two boats as they passed over. But as you can see, the GoPro got flipped, and I got no footage, and didn't know it till later on. It was when I lifted the GoPro up to clear off the crap from the uh, anchor is when the problem occurred. I couldn't see that I had laid it back down upside down, I guess. So you've had them for how long? Uh, actually, well over 10 years, 15 maybe. Wow. Quite a long time. They look really, I mean, they're in very nice shape. Yeah, they're not, not Dave bad. was saying you're going to do some varnish on Rosemary. Yeah, Rosemary's due for a, a varnish, so she's going to get a varnish. It's got a little crackle to it, but I think you could just sand it, and yeah, that's it doesn't need to be says. stripped or anything. No, no, he thinks that's, that's a, it just needs to just be sanded and a couple coats put on. So there's, uh, Dave sent me that picture of the three of them, the original Speedsters in front of Singer Castle. Yep. So, um, and you said you're thinking you need a third one so you can reenact the like photo? I'd like to, or I'm hoping someone else does it and takes the... Uh, that somebody else buys it so you don't have to? Well, I was joking with a friend of mine, if I get another speedster, it'll be called getting a triple cockpit the hard way. <laughs> you could just put some bungee cords between them and just drive the one in the front. <laughs> oh, he's up yet, so don't go too fast. He's not up yet, hold on. You might find yourself asking, why does somebody get two boats like these? Why, to use them, of course. Let me help you get your bearings here. This is Snug Harbor Island, Snug Harbor, Oak Island, where I keep my skiff at Shermerhorns, and then over this direction is where the Lyman is.
You can see from the drone shots just how treacherous the water can be in Chippewa Bay. So many shoals. But you spend time learning the water. Once you do, you have to trust the water. Check out Garwood.com for some interesting history on Garwoods from the Antique Boat Museum. When speedsters were introduced, there was a lot of interest here in the Thousand Islands. Misbehave can be found on a list created when the Dark Island Cup was proposed as a race at Singer Castle. Imagine 25 of these boats racing in and near Chippewa Bay. I did, and it caused me to create this idea for a t-shirt. I may produce some of these for the wooden boat experience. I'm thinking there would be 25 little speedsters on the back with each distinct name. Thanks so much to Joe McBride and to everyone else for watching and supporting the wooden boat experience. Please subscribe, share, and comment. All the things you do in support of the WBE Help me to keep making these videos. I'll see you next week for episode six of season two.